Buenas, hoy estamos continuando con lección 26 y haciendo lección 27 también. Entonces, ¿ustedes ya parafrasearon este motivo en la última clase? Y contestaron esta pregunta. ¿Es verdad la frase, historia está escrito por los ganadores? Si no has hecho este, por favor, conteste esta pregunta. No se olviden utilizar la red de escritura dentro de tu respuesta. Y aquí es la rúbrica que utilizo para calificar su escritura. So, we paraphrased our objective last class and we answered this question last class as well. If for some reason you haven't answered this question, um, it's, and it's on slide 21, please answer this question. Is it true? Is the phrase true? History is written by the winners. Um, make sure that when you write, you include your writing stem and that you, um, And this is the rubric that I use to grade whether or not your writing is effective. Did you include the writing stem? Is your claim and response specific? And are there, is there elaboration and details that, are there elaboration and details that support your claim well? Okay. Um, y, y como dije, dije, vamos a continuar con este agenda. Entonces, ustedes van a presentar sus proyectos. Y um, ustedes van a trabajar en sus cómics. Ustedes quieren terminar con los dos hoy. So today you're going to be working, um, you're going to be presenting your projects, those of you who have not presented yet. And um, you're going to be finishing your comics or starting on your comic if you, if you didn't start last class. Aquí son los elementos claves que ustedes tienen que incluir en sus cómics. These are the key elements you need to include in your comic. Estás escribiendo de la desde la perspectiva de una azteca y vas a explicar sobre um, el origen de las aztecas, su historia y cultura, su religión y su agricultura. Ustedes quieren incluir estos cuatro elementos. Um, so you're going to be writing from the perspective of an Aztec and you're going to ex be explaining their origin, their history and culture, their, relig their religion and um, their agriculture. Make sure you include all four of these elements um, in your comic. Ustedes tienen la opción de completar los dos lados de la hoja. You have the option to complete both sides of the sheet, or solamente un lado. Depende en lo que necesitas para escribir un comic excelente. It all just depends on what you need to write an excellent comic. So, as I said, you could use just one side if you're able to talk about all of those elements on just one side of this comic sheet. And if one side isn't enough because there's so much information to share, um, use two sides. No se olviden que ustedes tienen que escribir en español, por supuesto, y que um, estoy esperando ver um, dibujos. So don't forget that um, you are writing in Spanish. So when you're explaining these things, you're explaining them in Spanish from the perspective of an Aztec. And I expect to see drawings um, to accompany them. Hay preguntas sobre el cómic? Are there any questions about the comic? Okay. No se olviden completar este boleto de salida. ¿Cómo se puede escribir la vida azteca? Se puede escribir la vida azteca como y tu respuesta. So don't forget to answer the ticket to leave, which is how would you describe Aztec life? And then answer that question using the writing stem provided here. One can describe Aztec life as... Y vamos a terminar la unidad después de todas las presentaciones y después de trabajar en sus cómics. Vamos a terminar um, la lección con lección 27. Ustedes van a parafrasear este objetivo. So we're going to finish um, the lesson for today with lesson 27. Um, you have paraphrased the objective. And essentially what we'll be doing is we'll be doing Duolingo and missing work. So missing work is, la prioridad es la, las tareas que faltamos. Ustedes van a trabajar en eso. Y después de hacer las tareas que faltamos, vamos a jugar Duolingo. Si de, tengamos tiempo al fin del periodo, um, podemos hacer un círculo de comunidad. And if we have time at the end of the period, we can do a community circle. But what we're going to focus on first is missing work and then Duolingo. Y vamos a utilizar este diapositivo hoy 
um, para calificar los proyectos que, vi que vimos. I'm going to be using this, um, this slide right here to grade the projects that we're seeing today. Entonces, abren Pear Deck a uh, diapositiva 29, por favor. So go ahead and open up Pear Deck to slide 29 so that you can um, grade the projects we see today. Y antes de salir hoy, por favor, escribe sobre cuál era el proyecto más fuerte um, hoy. Lista los nombres de las personas en el grupo y por qué este proyecto fue el mejor o estuvo el mejor. So, and then at the very end of the period, I want you, before leaving today, write down which project you thought had the strongest evidence, um, what the group members' names were, and why that evidence was so strong. But for right now, just go to slide 29. Um, ahora mismo, abra diapositiva 29. Y en este formato, vamos a calificar cada proyecto que vemos hoy. And in this format, we're going to be grading every project we see today. Si ya presentaste tu proyecto, mientras estamos mirando los otros proyectos, puedes empezar a dibujar tu cómic. Um, if, if you've already presented your project, you're welcome to take out your comic and work quietly on it as others are presenting. También estás bienvenido a prestar toda tu atención a lo que está diciendo la persona enfrente de ti. You're also um, allowed to um, just listen attentively to whoever is presenting um, in front of you. So you have the option of listening to the project and doing your comic at the same time, or just listening to the projects. Whatever you choose um, is your option. Just know that your comic still needs to be done. Hay preguntas? Any questions? Okay. Muchas gracias por su atención. Thank you for your attention. Vamos a empezar. We're going to begin.